Hey everyone, so I have a little announcement video for you guys today. Um, I know I've hinted about it on Twitter, but I haven't really full out said what I got, but I did get a new kitten. So I'm actually going to have you guys help me name him. He doesn't have a name yet, but before I get started, before I show him and talk about him, I just want to address why I got a new kitten, because I know that I'm going to be asked. I know a lot of people are going to be like, why didn't you bring your cats from home? Where are they? Do you still love them? Like all this stuff. So I figured I would just address that first before I even get into the new kitten. You guys know that I have cats and they live at my parents' house. I got them when I was still in college and I wasn't allowed to have pets in college so they lived with my parents and I always said that when I moved out and I got my own place they would come with me but when it really came down to it what happened was my mom asked me not to take them and her reasoning being that these cats were raised with her. Her house is their home. They sleep on her bed. Um, they've never lived with me full time. They've always lived with her. They feel like she and that home is their family. And they are. I mean, they're that home's family cats. And so her whole reasoning was that if I take them from this big house that they're so used to and they have like a big porch they can go on where they're safe, they have a backyard they can explore where they're safe and all this stuff. If I take them from there and I bring them to this little apartment where they're not ever going to be a let outside, they're not going to have her, they're not going to understand like why they were disrupted from their routine and their life and they play with the dogs that they have and they're, they're so happy there. They're like the happiest cats. She just kind of thought it would be cruel. Plus, I think the biggest thing was that she was really going to miss them. I really don't think she wanted me to take one of them because they're her babies. So anyway, she told me, I know this was a really long-winded thing, but I just wanted people to know that I haven't like stopped loving them or forgotten about them or wanted a new kitten instead of them or anything like that because that's not the way I am with cats. I like love my babies forever. So my mom's suggestion was adopt a new kitten where the kitten can grow up with you from kittenhood and it can live with you and be used to you and live in your apartment and be used to it and that will be its home, you know? So I thought that was a pretty good idea and I started looking about six weeks ago for kittens and my friend Katrina um, adopted a cat, a kitten before Christmas at one of the LA animal shelters downtown which was a kill shelter, which was really sad and she called me the day she picked it up and she was crying and we cried on the phone together for like an hour over how unfair it was and all this stuff. I think I was tweeting like really emotional animal tweets that day. I was having like a rough day. She told me there were like 60 kittens there. So I got back from Christmas break and I went with her to a couple of the downtown um, kill shelters. None of them had kittens. Like they didn't have kittens. Like they were all gone. They had all been adopted. There was one litter that I took a picture and posted on Twitter, but they were only like 10 days old and they wouldn't be able to go home for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. So after six weeks of looking, I found the perfect kitten for me. I'm very, very excited about him. I've had him now for, I think four days and he is the little love of my life right now. And I want you guys to help me name him, but I'm going to go get him right now. He's actually right there behind my head on that pillow sleeping. So I'm gonna go wake him up. He might be a little bit sleepy in this vlog. He's so little. He was just nine weeks on Tuesday. So he's definitely still like very, very young and he um, sleeps really hard. And I'll explain why in a second. There's a reason that he sleeps so hard. So um, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get him. Such a sleepy boy right now. Here's my baby. Hi, say hi to the camera. He's pure white and he has a little pink nose and blue eyes. So he is not moving very much right now because I think he is trying to figure out if he can fall asleep in my hands or when he's gonna be allowed to go back over there and fall back asleep. That's what he looks like. The reason that I said that he sleeps really hard um, is actually because this little baby kitten is deaf. That's why I was tweeting the other day about people that have either deaf or blind um, cats and if it was a lot of trouble because I knew that he was deaf before I adopted him and I just wanted to make sure that there weren't a lot of behavioral issues associated with it because I know that cats like hearing is one of their um, senses that they need and that they use all the time and mainly the most that people had to say was that um, Deaf cats meow a lot louder and a lot more off tune and sometimes they'll howl because they can't hear themselves, they don't know what noises they're making. And this little kitten, true to all the other little deaf kittens, howls like anything the second I leave his sight, his line of vision. I have to catch his eye as I'm leaving, like if I'm going around the corner, I have to kind of catch his eye and make sure he realizes and sees me going around the corner. Or the second he realizes I'm out of his sight, he will sit there and just howl for me. And then the second he sees me, he'll like chirp like a little cricket and run towards me. So I'm pretty sure that he's half cricket. I'm pretty sure that that's like a real thing. Um, I think he's a hybrid cat. He's half cricket and half kitten. 
I think that's a real thing. Maybe half bunny too, because he hops around. And he looks like a little bunny rabbit. He's falling asleep. You're cute. I wonder if he can like feel the vibrations of me talking since he's like pressed up to my chest right now. I wonder, I wonder these things. I think these things when I look at you. You're a cute little baby. He has a little blue mouse that's on the bed back there that he carries around in his mouth. It's like really tiny and um, that's his little baby. And then he also likes to sleep on that middle pillow back there in the very back, the middle white one. That's why it's all squished down compared to the other two because that's like where he sleeps. I'm not sure if cats can learn sign language, but I'm going to try. So if anyone um, has a cat that they've tried to learn teach sign language to or anything, um, let me know what signs work and what your cat responds to because I'm going to try. He's a little special needs kitten, but really, I mean, most cats don't listen to you anyway, so it's pretty spectacular if you end up with a cat that actually does come when it's called and does listen to you and all that stuff. So for the most part, it's kind of just like having a normal cat. It's not really that big of a deal. Need help naming him? Um, name suggestions below in the comments if you have a name that you think would fit him. I've considered Cricket because he chirps like a cricket. I've considered Jiminy because Jiminy Cricket off Pinocchio. Um, I've thought of all, all different things. I've researched like parrot names, monkey names. He kind of sounds like a little bird or a little dinosaur when he makes that little chirping noise. And um, yeah, so you guys leave your name suggestions below. I'm sure he will be appearing in a lot of videos. Um, because he is my new little love of my life. He's so cute. I love him and deaf kittens need love too. They need good homes too. So I'm very, very glad that I got him and I'm glad that he was able to get a good home that will take care of him and make sure that he doesn't get hurt, especially since he's even more helpless considering he doesn't have one of his senses that will alert him to danger. Look that way. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, the camera. Yeah. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, Chirper. You're so cute. Such a cute little kitten. <laughs> Such a little chirper. Go get it. Go the wrong way. Go that way. There you go, you got it. Where'd she go? Little chirper.